What's up guys, it's Phil, and it's time for another update. Alright, it is mid-June and I've got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, just this week I've got two sets of barn doors to install and a set of oversized shelves that I'm actually behind on. So the first thing I've got to do is get those polyurethane and finished up. And after that I need to work on the barn doors. So what I've got on the schedule today uh, is go out and do this consultation and then when I get back I'm going to work on the polyurethane on the shelves first then the polyurethane on the doors, once those are out of my main space of my shop, I'll have a little bit of room to do some other work uh, in the main space while everything is drying in the finishing room. So uh, I'm going to go around and turn on all the air conditioners because I turn them off for filming and it's hot and humid as balls right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of all of that so I'm not sweating profusely um, and we'll go ahead and get started finishing up these doors and shelves. just started doing recently um, uh, that I used to do in other career fields and whatnot is making lists. So let me show you here. This is actually a very good thing um, that I've done because I did not even think about this stuff. Like I got a bunch of stuff done today and then I got down here and I was actually about to start making these shelf supports and I realized I still needed to stain the header and the side panel. I actually just finished doing the poly on the doors. Checklists are awesome, especially if you're like me and you try to commit everything to memory because I fail miserably at that. So I'm going to stain the header and side panel for this door, uh, the doors that are out there uh, with polyurethane drying, uh, and then I'm going to start working on these shelf supports and probably call it a day.
right guys, so it is the end of my week. Um, I've gotten not a whole lot done this week because I was coming off of family vacation and now that set me back. I didn't get out in the shop. Uh, and now it's time to pick back up. So uh, luckily I did get that install done yesterday. Those shelves you just saw, um, I got those in, got the LEDs in, everything turned out really nice. The client was happy and I made some money. That's good. Um, I can basically finish out the week at like a break even financially, uh, which for me as a business owner is the bare minimum. Um, I really hate having weeks when I'm below what I need to make minimum. I like to be above that normally, obviously. Uh, if I ever am below it, it's usually because I've got a large project that's going to pay more than my weekly minimum for that week. So if I don't make it the first week and the project takes three weeks, but by the time I've done, I've made five weeks worth of my minimum and I've already got other projects going, then I'm in the black. So um, it's a very basic way to kind of run a business and I'll get a little more in depth into some of that, uh, the real nitty gritty of that stuff. But for now, it's what I call a recovery week. Um, I'm, I'm recovering from the vacation uh, and so financially that can be a bit of a burden. So I am in the shop today. I spent most of the morning doing some office work, which is part of this business, unfortunately. Um, I've got a lot of phone calls still to make this afternoon, uh, and I'm gonna be meeting my financial advisor for some beers later. So that means I have a short day. Uh, since I did my install yesterday instead of today, and since I don't have a lot on the plan, I kind of blew my day. I didn't really have a whole lot planned. So I purposely got up, did the office stuff this morning. I'm doing more of it later this afternoon and then I'm just gonna call it an easy Friday. So the only other thing I have to do today is get a couple of more skateboards photographed and deliver two of them to um, the shop. Other than that, I've got to do some just shop maintenance. I want to clean up a little bit. I want to get new blades on my planer um, and then maybe give the dog a bath. I don't know, just call it a day, easy Friday. So I'm pretty not happy with this planer right now. Um, this is the second time I've had to change the blades and I've maybe planed four boards and they were all softwoods. So I'm not really sure why these blades are such garbage. Um, I'm considering upgrading to carbide tip blades, but DeWalt has these little hex head screws that hold everything in place. Um, and I have fully destroyed four screws every time I've replaced one of these blades. This is becoming very expensive. I could have bought another planer by the time I replaced the blades a third time. So this is annoying and I'm now having to dig out and destroy the one screw that's still left because it's now stripped the head inside the cutter head. So yeah, I'm a little annoyed right now. Fifteen minute project took about an hour and ten minutes. Um, it took me forever to get those stupid hex nuts out. So uh, thanks to Walt for making a really bad choice. I'm going to be going to Home Depot and getting bolts that will fit in those holes that are Phillips head because that is terrible. Those things strip. I broke one of my. Uh, I broke the the five thirty second bit that's supposed to go in it. Um, I stripped five of them trying to get them out and then back in so I also know that now when I go to replace the blades next time or even just replace all these crappy hex head screws that I'm going to have to spend another 45 minutes to an hour digging out these screws and using a screw extractor to extract these screws. So wow that sucked. <laughs> 